So, good day everyone. Today, we will continue our report starting from the theorist, theorist or theories relating to social world and its case application. So, the first one is functionalist social theory. Functionalist social theory by Emil Durkheim. Theory that states all aspects of a society serve a function and necessary for the survival of that society. It states that all elements of the society are interdependent and they serve a function for the overall stability of the society. Lahat ng mga nakikita natin sa ating society ay mapabagay, tao, hayop o ano paman, lahat yun ay may iba't ibang tungkulin. Lahat ay konektado at nakadepende sa isa, isa, isa. Just like our brain, kung ano yung nakikita natin ay na-apply natin sa ating pang-araw-araw na gawain. We have different point of view in life, but what it makes to make our society balance. Next is symbolic interactionism. A framework in sociological theory regarding social behavior that emphasizes linguistic or gestural communication as well as its subjective understanding. So, sa symbolic interactionism, it is explained nga mas gina-focus o mas ginahatagan niya emphasis ang exchanges of meaning through language and symbols. And through this exchange, we can create a subjective understanding in which mag-base rata sa ato ang personal opinion, judgment, feelings, o point of view about sa certain object or situation. Next, this focuses more on actions and reactions of people in society and how and why people define their situations. This means nga wala lang siya nag-focus sa symbols but also sa reaction and actions sa isa katawo. So sa pag-observe ni mo sa iyang action and reaction makahimo or makabuo kag meaning or understanding kung anong naabot siya na ang sitwasyon. Meads put forward an influential summary of the perspective. People act toward things based on the meaning those things have for them, and these meanings are derived from social interaction and modified through interpretation. So according to Mead, kung unsay makita nga meaning or understanding sa isa ka tao about sa certain nga object, things, or situation, kay mausan na ang ma-instill sa iyang mind o ginanaon sa niya pagdala or pagtrato ang maong butang. So, and these meanings are derived from social interaction and modified through interpretation, ang mga meaning nga mag-create sa tao kay mag-gigansad sa iyang pag-interact sa object in which mag-create da yun siya interpretation. So, sa symbolic interactionism, ma na-relate siya sa topic na social world in ways that we can gain knowledge and information and create impressions towards other people through the use of symbols. The next one is conflict theory. So, conflict theory by Karl Marx um, focuses on the concept of social inequality, conflicts that exist between classes which will eventually trigger social change. Change is a result of such conflicts being played out. So, there is a, from, there is a conflict theory um, as what Karl Marx uh, stated, um, uh, conf uh, for example, the family conflict. So, conflict can happen when family members have different views or beliefs that clash. Peaceful resolution depends on negotiation and respect for other person's point of view. Seek professional advice if you think you need help. So, um, sa family conflict, doon na nagganap yung um, gulo na which um, the two parties, let's say the two parties, so they have these different uh, views or beliefs that um, ayaw tanggapin ng isa, na ayaw rin tanggapin ng isa. So, that's the time pumapasok sa si conflict. So, sa peaceful resolution um, depends on negotiation and respect for others' person point of view.
And the next one is the case or application. So here are some published literature that we found which relates to the topic social work. So the first one is people are often very skilled at person perception. The process of learning about other people and our brains are designed to help us judge others efficiently. This is according to the study of Hasselton and Funder 2006, McRae and Quadflake 2010. This means that natural na sa individuals nga mo judge or muhatag og komento sa uban nga tao. We as individuals, it is common for us to perceive others and give impressions based on how we view or see them. Our brains are also designed to judge others efficiently. We learn about people without knowing that those people are also learning about us. And the next one is... Infants prefer to look faces of people more than they do other visual patterns, and children qu quickly learn to identify people and their emotional expressions. Tarati, Kasia, Simeon, and Leo, year of 2006. So, of course, the in the infants prefer to look at faces is because nakita nila yung mukha ng tao, dyan nila nakikilala sa pagtingin sa mukha. Kasi hindi pa naman sila marunong magsalita. Pag, nakakit, pag nakita nila yung tao na ag agad sila ngingiti kahit hindi nila kilala, unlike children na um, alam na nila ang kanilang nararamdaman. If hindi nila kilala yung tao, ang kanilang response is tatakbo palayo or iiyak. Yung ibang bata naman is magtatanong kasi nga curious sila. Learning about people is a lot like learning about any other object in our environment. With an object, there is no interaction and it is only a one-way process. But with people, there is a two-way social process. First, we learn about the person and the person also learns about us. For instance, research has found out when other people are looking dire directly at us we process their features for more fully and faster and we remember them than when the same person looking at us so um this is the initial impressions for me uh, formation by um hood in macray 2007 so um this uh, describe how people use behavior and traits to form an initial perception of others and also explore research about forming impressions from thin slices of information. People are often very skilled at person perception and our brains are designed to help us judge others efficiently. So that's all. I think that would be all and thank you for listening.